Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, I don't know what date today is. I think it's the 13th. I believe it's the 13th. My soul is telling me it's the 13th. So plan for the day. It is 11.30. Water pump. I have actually been up since 7 a.m. I was just working in bed because it is freezing. Like it is so cold. I need to have some breakfast right now. It is 11.30. I am making myself some oatmeal. And also update. Do you remember how we were talking about vanilla extract and essence and uh, paste and how I needed some? It finally arrived. Uh, it actually arrived last week on Tuesday, but I'm trying it out today in my oatmeal. I'm going to try out the vanilla extract. So I'm going to throw that into my oatmeal and then we're going to continue with the day. let's try it out sorry I'm like in bed majority of the time just because this weather it's really hard to work at my desk so it is what it is that's good I can taste the vanilla which is awesome um, another pro it doesn't have like most of the vanilla essence that is available in Kenya has this very bitter alcoholic like <sighs> thing to it so it doesn't have that so love that I just wish it was a little bit stronger. I've had stronger extracts before, but this is not bad. It's better than Essence. So that is a freaking pro for me. So I am currently cooking for the week. Right now I'm making my cream spinach. You guys already know how I make that. If you're curious, I'll put the link down below for the video that I did showing how to make that the meals that i'm making today are gonna be vegan obviously because that's how i'm rolling around in these streets majority of the time again i still do eat meat just not all the time balance balance yeah so i'm gonna also make soy mints and i think maybe i can just do a quick little snippet on how i make that Something struck me oh, lately. Okay, so we are making um, soy mints. I just want to make a small batch just to add to everything that I have. I'm just heating up some oil in my pan. Let me set this up a little bit better. And I know someone's going to freak out about this. Someone's going to freak out about this. Please calm down. So I'm just throwing in some diced onions and then we're just going to sweat them down a little bit. And as those sweat down, I just want to save this just so that we can take out the unnecessary powder. Do you see that? Um, I usually just don't like this much powder in my soy mints. so. I'm going to be cooking this and I'll just add a little bit of this because it is a little bit of flavor in the actual powder itself. Okay, it's sweated down a little bit so now I'm just going to add the soy. Okay, now I just add a little bit of water at a time. And another packet usually says like add a cup of water or something like that i personally do not like that i learned this from my aunt and that's if you put too much water you're just gonna have like a bunch of soy swimming in water it's just it's just it's just not that nice you know i've been caught up in my mind mm -hmm. oh it's not hard to see yeah. so this is a little bit of turmeric a little bit of garam masala. This is one of my favorite brands. And I completely forgot to add this, just adding actual ginger. 
I'm adding some dania. Just adding a little bit more water. So now what I like to do once it's fully cooked is I store half of it for days when I want pasta and things like that that I can just mix with some pasta sauce and then this other half I'm gonna mix with my rice so now when I mix this with the rice it's oh and the rice is coconut rice so here is everything this is the coconut rice with the soy meat this is skooma with tomatoes and like a whole bunch of stuff um, cream spinach I always make it because I like I'm so obsessed with cream spinach uh, the potatoes uh, the extra soy meat that I'm gonna be having during the course of the week as well um, these are the broccoli cauliflower hash browns and some extra coconut rice hello it is Wednesday okay it's on it is Wednesday I don't know the date I don't know any of the dates <laughs> It's Wednesday though. I think it's the 15th because I have a deadline today. Yes, actually I have two deadlines today and there was a whole hiccup. <sighs> I lost footage. I just, it's, it's a mess, but I have to reshoot everything, which is okay. I actually discovered that one of the things that I shot, I shot wrong. So the mess up actually kind of worked to my advantage because now I have to reshoot and do it right, which is great. And at least it's just one of those things that I just as long as I turn it in today that's all that matters okay so I just I'm getting breakfast uh, I didn't shoot yesterday just cuz it was a pretty chill day I was just home um, I was editing yeah like that was basically it I did finally clean out my closet which is great my trench coat closet and my skirts closet it was fantastic went through all that figured out what to give away which was great it was a good haul it was a very good haul so today's breakfast is pretty chill i'm just having witabix <laughs> done sorry uh, camera died wasn't gonna stop working out to fix that but it is what it is um right now today's uh mask day the three in one garnier charcoal mask i'm just letting it dry i think i have like five more minutes with it on then i'm gonna wash it off then start my makeup so i can start the day and the shoots have i charged okay my batteries are charging Oh, I'm feeling tired, but I'm actually so glad that I did that workout. Yesterday was the first time that I worked out since last week, and yesterday was Tuesday. What did I... What was last time? Last week, I stopped working out on Wednesday. I worked out on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then I just... On Thursday, I was not in the mood. Friday, I was not in the mood. Saturday, same thing. And I think I've just gone to the point now where I'm just like, if my body tells me it wants to chill, sweetie, I'm gonna let you chill. And that's what I did. Um, as long as I know in my head that I'm gonna start again, like very soon, I usually don't mind missing a couple of days here and there. So, and generally, I like to work out only five days a week. Uh, so, it's better that way for me. Oof! All right, face clean. I'm ready to beat this thing like it owes me money. And I kind of pretend like when I wear makeup, I do such dramatic looks. I really don't. I'm like. I really just love my simple looks like I don't even contour okay so what looks am I doing today oh yeah okay I remember okay so I just received the weirdest DM not weirdest it wasn't weird at all I just thought it was like oh sweet it was like a, such a Bambi moment this young girl she's just started a YouTube channel and she said she's really trying to get into daily vlogs and one of her biggest issues is that she's not comfortable being in front of a mirror without makeup. And she's just asking me how I'm so confident to be in front of a camera without makeup. 
honestly honestly speaking i think it's an age thing i used to be very self-conscious when i was younger as well um especially when i first started blogging people knew me um with makeups always felt like i looked like shit if i didn't have any makeup on especially in public and in videos and things that like you would not have been able to catch me dead catch me dead without makeup on my face um and then i think when you just get older you just don't care i don't know like i just don't care i'm not gonna do makeup for a youtube video if i don't require to or if i don't need to have makeup on my face i just don't care i've never just seen a chick who just does not care just feels so comfortable with my uso as it is do you ever wonder like what your man sees when he sees you doing your makeup like this does not look crazy like this looks oh my gosh i just remembered oh no oh my god i'm so disappointed in myself i need to get my passport it has been at the french embassy since lockdown because i went to the french embassy to get uh, my visas prepared for the trips that i had i ended up having to go to another trip um to mount kenya and by the time we arrived we came back on a sunday and then or was it monday one of those two and then lockdown happened literally the next day so so this is vin uh he's just come to do some measurements because we're in the process of doing a little project right now for a few suits he makes my suits he made this suit if you guys remember from instagram this skirt suit i'll insert a picture of me wearing it um so yeah we're doing a few more projects yeah. and this is a thing that we we're, we're just seeing to see if it works just for science and a pantsuit that's gonna be very dope so when those come out i will show you guys so yeah okay i don't want to show you yet <laughs> so i just need to lunch before i continue with my day i'm having the eggs some rice with soy <laughs> meat um skooma and a little portion of like the roasted potatoes that we made so i'm done with my makeup i'm just gonna start shooting and i'm gonna be building up during the course of the day okay so one look that i really wanted to do today is freckles really badly like i just want one photo with freaking freckles i love freckles i've done them in the past love them but all of my other photos for the rest of the day cannot have freckles so i'm so good how to do this and if i mess up my base it's just gonna screw up my whole vibe so i'm gonna photoshop freckles on and that just made me think of a lot of guys have been asking me to show people how to edit like or how i edit my photos um once i get them from raw to something that i can actually post so i think i'm thinking of doing a post like that you guys let me know if you're interested in that i can show you guys editing techniques from um when you actually use Photoshop all the way to just using the apps on your phone. If that is something that you guys are interested in, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, ooh, I always forget to do this. Since you're already writing in the comment section, like, yes, we want to know how to edit. You might as well just like this video and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I never tell you guys to do that. So you just do it. Sometimes you just got to ask people to like help you out. Like, help me, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Okay. All done with the day. Very productive. Now I'm doing my favorite thing ever. The editing process. I love it. It is legit my favorite part about what I do. Funny enough, my favorite parts are the before aspect. Like a lot of people love the being able to post photos. That for me is just such a, like, I guess, because I like the other stuff more. Like I love coming up with concepts i love the process of doing my makeup i love shooting setting up the camera the lighting getting the focus right and then once you get that perfect moment and then you take really good shots and then when you look back at the photos you're like oh hell yeah i did that Woo! and then the editing oh it's just such a home and then i post it because i've already done the work might as well post it which is actually why I do what I do. Like, I love the creative aspect. I like the behind the scenes. And with that, my other favorite part is just being able to share with you guys um, things. Like, I love sharing style tips. I love sharing, like, makeup products that I'm loving at the moment. I, I just love sharing information. Boob tape hacks. How to wear heels and be comfortable all day. Like, I, I just love sharing information. It's not just 
posting photos just to post photos. I, I love the production aspect and I love sharing information. That's like my favorite thing. Which is actually funny enough, I have received DMs in the past from photographers in Kenya saying, why don't you ever use a photographer? You don't want to give jobs to local talent. And that's not the reason why. Like, I swear that's not the reason why. Like, if I got a photographer and the photographer was also in charge of, like, editing and then all that, like, I would be just so bored. It's like, this whole thing, like, this, my camera, my equipment, all that, like, that's my favorite part. What's up, fam? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm taking some vitamin C tablets because of this weather and the pandemic. You know, try to stay as healthy, try to stay as healthy as you can. Muy importante. Si? Si. banana blueberry muffins muffins pancakes anybody got time for muffins um for breakfast not for me i'm gonna be having oatmeal i'm about to go work out right now actually very excited I'm back on the groove of things um, which is good because I was kind of struggling there for a hot second so I just want to pop in real quick before I know my room is a mess I'm gonna arrange it after working out and taking a shower it's usually my rhythm of doing stuff okay so I just received a DM from somebody um, and I saw it this morning it kind of put me in a I received a DM from somebody talking about hey I've been seeing that you're you know getting into your workout routine, blah, blah, health and fitness, nif, 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 nif. Um, and then she sent a picture of me from a long time ago. I'll put it right here. And she's basically saying, I think while you're in the middle of your journey, you should aim to get to this. Now, the reason why that made me feel some type of way is, number one, I have been very vocal and very open about like my fitness journey and everything, and I have spoken multiple times about how I like being a certain size like I just enjoy it um, I feel better I feel more beautiful I feel sexier I feel just myself and I also wanted to give a background of this story like this girl um, this girl during this period it was about uh, two years that was the smallest I've ever been in my entire life like I'm naturally not a small girl I am built to be thicker um i'm built to be my size maybe slightly smaller but like smaller than like let's say 66 kg 65 it's usually iffy on me i don't look good i don't look healthy i'm just naturally built to be thicker for example again we've talked about my ribs before i have the rib cage of a woolly mammoth that i am now what 69 kgs and when i wake up and my stomach is the emptiest you can see my ribs and that's at like 69 kg 69 68 so i'm just naturally meant to be slightly thicker um this girl on the other hand she was the smallest i got was 57 which is very small for me very 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 small for me and the reason that happened was and i didn't realize until after the fact and after i spoke to my mom but um during that time it was one of like the hardest times of my life it was the most unhappy i've ever been i'm actually excited. it was the most unhappy i've ever been in my entire life like i've never been that unhappy especially during that period <sighs> and i didn't realize that i was putting myself in an unhealthy state it was almost like an obsession where everything else in my life is not happening the way I want it to be so let me at least control like what I eat how small I am and things like that it was I don't want to say like I but that time was the most unhappiest time of my life and after I got that DM I decided to go through like even my old videos and that's the funny thing about like what I do content creation 
when you have created content for like a very long time like for a very long time and you go through your archives or whatever you can actually at the moment you don't realize that you're in that state of mind but then after the fact when you pass that hump or whatever when you look back at those images you feel the way you used to feel like you feel sad again you feel down again and you just like those moments those those times that are basically frozen in time for you like you remember where you were at the time like you you realize now like oh i'm cool now but oh my god at the time i was not okay and i do that like when i go through even my instagram if i like quickly file down and everything like i'll get to a specific time in my timeline where i even notice like even my color grading is like more of like bluish and kind of sad and then i remember when i was taking those all those images like how sad i was or like what was going on in my life that i didn't like and things like that so yeah when i was that small that this young lady thought it was okay to just tell me um hey get back to that size i like you better that size that for me that time that size it's not it's not from a place of like oh i looked so good it's a place from i was so unhappy that and like so d depressed and like so just and it was i wasn't happy in all like everywhere like relationship wise i was incredibly unhappy uh career wise i was just down in the like down 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 those are the times when you know i used to put so much work and effort in what i do i mean i still do that but i used to put in so much work and effort in what i do and then you know you think that something good is about to happen to you like you know you get a call from a client or a brand or whatever and then it just you know they decide to go a different direction they decide to go with somebody else they end up saying like oh we actually don't like the way you look or whatever the case it was just it was a very bad time for me so when i see that version of myself and somebody telling me to go back to that i'm just like i wish you understood how much pain and suffering that girl was going through inside sorry i don't cry in front of people Hold on. I mean, I just thought about it and I just thought I should share with you guys because that was one of my like, New Year's resolution being open with you guys and you know things are not always okay and that's okay you're not always okay and that's also okay um but yeah and I don't mind the fact that the girl said that to me in the DMs like that's not even my issue because um, like how would you know that and I mean if that's like you feel like I look better that way then I mean that's you i guess uh it's just um i just wanted to share that just because you know yeah okay let me go work out <laughs> i'll try to compress what i'm trying to say when i come back i don't know my brain is just <laughs> It's too cold to not cover up my head showered and everything um oh so what i was actually saying before I'm over there being emotional in the bedroom and things i was just saying number one i don't mind that she actually sent me that dm at all like i know she was not coming from a place of hate or judgment or anything like that i feel like it was just it's like those things that people just speak like they're just like Oh, you have this blonde hair. I prefer it when it's black. Whatever the situation. That wasn't my issue. Actually, I actually didn't even have an issue. It just reminded me of where I was then and where I am now and why I am happy as hell where I am now and why I never want to get to that size ever again. It was not... I didn't get there, number one, a healthy way. I didn't get there because I want... Like, it just was not... A good place for me and I never want to get to that place ever again um, both psychologically emotionally physically yeah and I love the way I am right now like I love me in every way okay so yeah I don't know if any of that makes sense anyways so another thing so 
remember how we do this every single episode i'm going to dedicate it to a small company or an organization today this video is going to be sponsored by dada hair it is a wig company in kenya they contacted me on instagram and they wanted to also send me one of their products and this is a wig this is 14 inches it is a lace front it has these comb things which i don't even have here so i'll never use that lace it's been in my closet for the past month just because i've been doing all the other brands and i wanted to do everything one at a time so today it's them uh so originally my plan was since this was a lace front i was going to be showing you guys um other cost effective ways to get wigs and the whole bit so my project was i wanted to bleach these knots myself and um cut the lace and the whole thing alone let me actually throw it on so i can show you guys but halfway through thinking about doing that i decided maybe it's not a good idea to do that because i know myself i will 100 percent ruin this sorry i'm adjusting the clips to make it tighter because my hair is small my hair is so small especially with no hair there's nothing to hold on to so here is the wig and i'm really excited about this just because i used to have a black bob used to and then i went to south africa and on my way back it was stolen out of my bags in south africa with south african air have i ever received my money back no did i file a complaint yes with receipts yep anybody come back to me nope i'm gonna try again next week anyways so oh and also they stole all my wigs all of them all of them all of them my long one my short one it's like a whole thing sorry linda <laughs> um so yeah so here is the wig uh it's still a little bit too loose for my head just because no hair i have nothing to hold on to but i think it's a really good it's really flipping good and it's 14 inches so what i am gonna do instead of me ruining it because i know i'm gonna ruin it i am going to send it to my girl over at nyalo beauty and beauty beauty and what she's gonna do is she's gonna cut the lace she's gonna bleach the knots if she feels that it is necessary she's gonna pluck she has all the measurements for my head so yes she's a great option especially if you're trying to fix up a wig that you already have but you just don't want to even test out whether or not you know how to bleach knots cutting lace all that and she charges around 2500 to customize a wig that you already have so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to throw it back into the bag and then i'm going to send it over to her and then she's going to send it back and then i'll show you guys it's going to take about a day for her to do it so let's see what she does let me call my biker over and send it over to her right now and i'm going to put all the information for data hair down below and also in your little beauty if you also just want to customize a wig that you already have now all i want to do is work 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 what you mean on me no 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 i wanted to shoot today but i'm not putting on makeup for nobody nobody look at me i'm not putting on makeup for nobody we are making orange chicken for dinner. It is my cheat day-ish, kind of, sort of. Um, this recipe, just you need to be very aware, has a lot of sugar and a lot of salt. And it's deep fried. Hey, So just be aware of that. What I am doing currently is I have chicken thighs, so I'm still defrosting. I have these right here. I am chopping them up into tiny cubes. Well, not tiny cubes. Little bite-sized pieces like that. And these are what we're going to deep fry. So, just be aware of that. Um, I've already prepped everything else. I'm going to put the breakdown of this recipe down below if you guys are curious or if you just want a written down version of this at least for the ingredients so yeah let me just first finish up with the chicken and then we shall continue together in the couple feel like the only one found out the reason why Okay, 
so now we're gonna make the sauce first before we actually make the chicken. I just wanted to just have the chicken prepped so that once I'm done with the sauce, I can deep fry and then mix them together. Okay, so I just need to grab a pot. So in the pot, sugar, a lot of sugar, vinegar, white vinegar, Soy sauce, I'm using dark soy sauce. You can use light soy sauce, soy sauce. Um, this is just water. I'm using the same container as I did with the soy sauce, hence the color, but it's water. This is fresh orange juice, hence orange chicken. It is one orange. And then this is the zest of the orange that we juiced. Now I'm just gonna let this simmer for a few minutes, bring it up to a bowl, then I'm gonna bring down the temperature a little bit. Um, we're basically just trying to make a syrup, like an orange sauce syrup. Um, what's up? I was just lonely, lonely, but since you came around now that it's simmering, I just want to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar, just a splash. Now I'm just going to leave this alone. It's now on low heat and I'm just going to let it simmer. Um, I just want it to reduce so it can be thick. 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 So as that simmers, I'm going to start prepping. I'm going to start prepping the chicken just because it's going to take a minute to do that. The chopped chicken thigh. I forgot to press record. So in this dish I have all-purpose flour and cornstarch mixed together. And then over here I have two eggs that I have beat. And the purpose of this is to... Whoops. Take the chicken, put it in the flour, flour, eggs, eggs, back to flour, fry, and then you mix it with the sauce. Got it? Good. So this is optional, but I just want to throw in a little bit of ground pepper. This is going to be messy. So just a little bit of chicken, throw it into the flour, make sure everything is well coated. Take your chicken back, make sure you brush off as much of the excess flour as possible. So this time for the eggs. And then take back your chicken and throw it back in the flour. And set aside. Same thing again. All I see is tomorrow. When you hear me calling, oh, it's you. Oh, and something I completely forgot to mention I seasoned the chicken with a little bit of salt. Yeah. Okay, it has reduced a little bit, so now I am adding water mixed together with cornstarch to help thicken this even more. And look how thick she is now. Ooh. Now turn off the heat. Now with the fire off, throw in some garlic and some ginger. You're feeling a little wild, a little chilly, a little. Now I am deep frying the chicken. Uh, yeah, so pot, hot oil, getting hot, then I fry. Pretty self explanatory. <laughs> So these 
are done. They're not gonna get dark at all, just FYI. Okay, not to assemble. Just gonna dump this chicken in here. This is the same pot that I made the sauce in. I'm just gonna add a little bit. For so long now, it's Suddenly I think of tomorrow joy here i am currently editing this week's vlog um, my plan was to have it go up on monday at 9 a.m but then life kind of happened like, remember the week that i was talking about dada yeah i sent it in late i got distracted life happened and then i sent it two days later than i'm supposed to send it so i wasn't able to get it back on time for this vlog so the me showing you guys the outcome is going to be in next week's video just a heads up but yeah i'm just going to wrap up the vlog here if you guys do not mind uh anything else of importance oh also i realized during editing not actually dead ass editing as we speak during editing i realized that i accidentally said that dada hair sponsored the video they did not sponsor the video they did not pay me to talk about them um i just really liked the hair and i wanted to mention it the video was dedicated to them not sponsored sorry my fault oh also some guys have been asking me online about how how to add copyright free music onto your video so you don't get copyright strikes i use a program not a program i use a site by the name of epidemicmusicsound.com i'll put the information down below the thing is for you to not get copywritten, copyright stricken, cop, whatever, you know what I'm saying. For you not to have that happen to you, you have to pay for the music. You can't actually get free copyright music. You can't actually get free copyright free music. Um, if you do, and I have done this in the past, you run the risk of, you know, the artist this year might decide, oh, it's copyright free. Let me put it on YouTube. The next year, decide to copyright it. And then your video either A, gets demonetized, it gets taken down, or YouTube just automatically finds the sections in your video where that song is in and just completely remove the audio. So if you have it in the backdrop and then people are talking over it, it's, it's gonna affect you greatly. So you still have to pay for music if you honestly want to find music that you can use that you know is not gonna affect you negatively with um, YouTube and monetization and videos being taken down. And again, I'll put the website down below. It's epidemic, yeah, epidemicsounds.com. Um, they're great, they have so many genres. Uh, I pay for the yearly subscription and mine was how much? So for yearly, so they have like three options. They have like personal, commercial, and enterprise. Let me show you. So I don't know if you can see that. So they have the personal, commercial, and enterprise. Um, this would be a personal, so that's more like YouTube videos, things like that. And it goes for $15 a month, which is around 1,500 shillings a month, or $144 a year. And they have a free trial thing, um, so you can just decide what works best for you. So I hope that helps you out. So try them out. I think they're absolutely great, great options. Not sponsored by them. God, I wish. Ugh. Ah, dreams, darling. Dreams. Am I right? <laughs> ah!
Am I right? Okay. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye.